Craft Warehouse Faller. So we are going to be making some mini faux snow globes. So I have a total of six jars. I have three of this larger jar and then I have three of this smaller jar. I have this 21 piece uh, sisal tree pack. Has so many different sizes in it. It's amazing. I can't wait to play with it. We have some snow. Everybody loves some snow. And then I do have three of these little gnome guys here and then some holographic uh, little small packages. And then today I'm gonna to be using the E6000 to do any gluing that needs to happen, but um, hot glue will work as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of do a big and a small jar um, duo and I'm gonna just add only the gnome in the trees and then I'm gonna add the packages and snow where I think is needed. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So I think for this one, I'm gonna put the gnome inside here. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And then I'm thinking, let's see what size tree will fit in here. I think I'm just gonna do a single tree. And then I think I might go ahead and add another tree with this guy. Ooh, I like the way that looks. Okay. So for this one, all I'm gonna do is actually add a little snow. And I I like to empty my snow, so I have it in a bowl right next to me. So I'm just gonna grab into the bowl. And I'm a, I'm a messy crafter, so we're just gonna pour that right in there. And then I'm gonna plop my tree down. So no glue is gonna be necessary for this one. And I'm just gonna spin it until I like where it's at. Okay. So I'm gonna put the lid back on this guy. And then for this one, I am gonna need some glue because I wanna make sure this gnome isn't falling around. So we're gonna grab that E6000 and I'm just gonna put it right on the base of his feet. and drop the gnome right in there. And then I'm gonna come in with the tree as well since that gnome is nicely glued down. And we're gonna put that tree right behind them. And then I'm gonna go ahead and probably sprinkle a little bit of snow in there, not much, just a little bit. And now if you're using E6000, it does take 24 hours to dry. So try not to be shaking these guys around too much. Okay. So far I'm liking the way these guys look. Um, I might come back and maybe I'll add a tree to the top of this one. That would be really cute. Oh, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and go with that. I love the tree on top. So we're gonna just Put some glue right onto the base of this tree and glue them right to the top. All right, okay, so right now I'm done with these jars. Again, I'm not gonna put any of my um, packages in my jars until the very end, just kind of to see what I end up creating. I don't wanna throw all the packages into one and not want that. All right, so again, we're gonna come in with another duo. And I'm gonna use a gnome in each duo. And this time, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the gnome on top of this larger jar. I'm gonna push him back so you can see him. So let's go ahead and open these. I love that when making these jars, you can create, all of these are gonna look different, which is awesome. They're not all gonna look the same and they'll all be really unique. So let's see, I don't think my largest tree will fit in there. No, that definitely won't fit in there. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go that next big size. And I think I'm gonna actually squeeze in two of them. Oops, that one's too big. 
We're gonna squeeze in this little guy. Okay, so let's throw in some snow for this guy. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of snow, not too much. And we're gonna drop the bigger tree in first. And again, I just kind of spin it. And then I'm gonna drop this little, little guy in. Okay, let's see if I can get them in there. If you're having a hard time, you can easily use um, a pen or a pencil. Because those little bristles, they just want to get stuck to each other. A popsicle stick would work as well. Okay. So I got those in there. I'm going to put the lid on this jar. And then we'll end up putting the gnome on top of this. But we're going to figure out what we want to do with this jar. Maybe we do a duo on it. Let's, let's see. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do two in this one as well. And I'm just going to put a little bit of snow. And again, just kind of wiggle them where I want them to go. If you don't want these to move, you can go ahead and glue them down um, and then sprinkle the snow like I did on the first gnome jar. But I kind of think it's fun when they move around. All right. So I'm going to push these guys back so you can see me put the gnome on. So I'm going to glue that gnome right on top of this. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put... I like him with some trees. I'm going to go ahead and do two trees, I think. So we're going to glue him down first. And then we're going to come in with the trees. And again, we're putting that E6000 on both the trees and the gnome. Okay, I like the way that looks, that's cute. I kinda wanna put this huge tree on this jar. Um, that's kinda just a personal preference. But I think it's kind of fun. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That is so fun, you guys. So again, just a little E6000 right on that base or your hot glue, whatever your preferred um, glue is. Oh, yes, that is fun. Okay, so that also just adds a whole nother height to my, all my jars if I put them together. I can kind of spread out the gnomes and the trees. Ooh, I can't wait to put the packages in. Okay, so two more jars here. We're gonna push these guys to the side. So I got two more jars, you guys, and I got another gnome. Hmm, I don't know what I'm gonna do on this one. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this gnome inside this jar. So let's glue his base down. And I think I'm gonna end up having him by himself. Ooh, it's a little bit of a drop from my hand. I got a bigger hand though, so I'm gonna put him right down in the middle. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some snow because I think some packages in here with him would be really cute. So we're just gonna sprinkle some snow right around him. Okay, there's kind of a line in the jar, so I don't like that. It kind of blocks my gnome, so I'm gonna just kind of slowly move him around. Ooh, I love that, so cute. 
All right, hmm, now what do I wanna do? I think what I wanna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of fill this jar a little bit. We've got halfway with some snow. I got a little tree. And then I'll end up sprinkling packages around that. And then I'm gonna put a on this jar, I'm gonna go ahead and put the tree right on top. And then I think I'm gonna leave this top of the jar probably empty. Um, we'll see, I might go ahead and add a little bit more trees at the end of this. Okay, as of right now, you guys, I am loving these jars. They are so fun. Um, I could possibly buy some other, um, critters or maybe some more gnomes if I wanted to kind of mix on the jars. I do have some more trees because I did not use all my trees. So I can come on and add some trees if I wanted to. Like I could bring on that larger tree on here or I could pop on another large tree here. Um, and I have some smaller ones that maybe I could make some grove. But right now I'm gonna open up the um, packages and we're gonna see where we wanna place those. Okay, you guys, I did go ahead and decide to put that tree on that last jar over here. But now I'm going to go ahead and add some packages. So I have these, again, mini holographic packages here. And um, I'm first going to figure out which ones I want to go on top of the jar. I'm thinking this guy here. I'm going to go ahead and glue kind of a bundle of them on here a little bit of a mixture i'll end up gluing kind of one of each color on this guy so i'm going to glue those on there and then i'm thinking about putting three little packages right at the base of this tree here so we're going to bundle those here and then this guy looks like he needs a little something. So what do we have? We'll do another three packages and then we'll play with these guys and see what we have left over. So I'd like to sprinkle a little bit of packages inside here with this little gnome guy. And I'm just going to plop them in, just dropping them. So you guys can see that they're just getting dropped right in there. So those are just dropped right in there. And I think the three look good. I like the way they fell. I'm not going to rearrange them. I'm going to twist that lid right back on. Maybe I'll throw a couple trees in here. On the front of this. Let's get, do some pink ones with this silver. I'm kind of trying to do mine in pairs, right? Kind of color scheme them a little bit. Okay. And then I think from here, I want to make sure I have a couple packages actually on the bottom of this guy. Kind of with that tree. So I'm just gonna pop those packages in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and put probably about four of them. Then it looks like I'm gonna have a couple extra. Hmm. I wonder if I should put a couple, I like, maybe I put it one package there and maybe I'll drop a package in here with this gnome. So let's go ahead, bring this guy over. I'm 
just going to drop a package right on in there. Kind of put it near him. I like the way that looks. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue on all those extra packages I kind of paired up with the jars. And again, I'm just putting a little bit of that E6000 right on the base of them. And then I'll let this dry and it will be ready to be put up on display for everyone to see. This one, we're gonna go ahead and put the packages up high again. The packages are fun because they just add a little pop of color that these um, jars need. Nothing crazy. I kind of squished this package earlier, so okay. Let's see if I can get them back into the position. Okay, so that's cute. Let's go ahead and Look how fun that is. I love the little packages around the base of the tree. Now, I could have dropped a couple packages in here with this tree, too. Um, but I don't really think it needs it. I think it's really cute the way with the little packages up on the lid. Um, and then let's bring this guy over. So this is the one that we're going to put all those packages on the base. So I just kind of smush them just a little bit. They'll all end up kind of helping each other balance and hold each other in place. So you don't have to worry too much about anything coming undone. And then my final little package here. And then it's got like a cute little pile of gifts. All right. So I think I have all my packages where I want them. I'm going to actually kind of play with this just a little bit. Now I like the way this is set up. So then I kind of have a tree without, or a jar without a gnome in between each of my gnomes. That's just kind of for my preference. Now I did forget to mention earlier, I have this baker's twine with me. I think this is gonna be a really cute um, add-on piece to the jars. So let me get a couple strands here and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to twist it around on this jar right across the lid. Now, when I do that, I hold it with my index finger and my thumb on opposite sides until I get that first kind of wrap around and then it will hold itself there. Now, if I really didn't want to be able to remove this uh ribbon at all or baker's twine what i'd want to do is come in with either a little hot glue or again that e6000 and again you can ravel this as many times so i could go around one more time give it a little bit more of that candy cane look and i'm trying to tie this on the side so i'm gonna just make a bow like i would on a shoe I just tie it once and then again I do like the little bunny ears and just pull it and you might have to adjust it just a tad okay now I don't want these to be too long so I'm gonna I want this bow to be kind of small so I like the size of that and I'm going to snip these right 
there. Because I just kind of want it to dangle. And look how it just simply added a splash of color on that jar. That is really cute. I'm going to put it on this one. Okay, so I'm going to hold this with my thumb and index finger and get a whole wrapper in. And then I should be good from here. All right. Maybe one more wrap. Let's see what that looks like. And then I'm just gonna, on this one, tie a double knot. No bow for this one. Cut this so that they're even. And another pop of color. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I might add, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add some ribbon onto this final one over here. Okay, so now we're gonna add that baker's twine to this one. And I think what I'm gonna do is no bow on this as well. And I'm just gonna wrap it around those two times. Just wrapped it around twice and I'm just gonna double knot it. Okay, and they actually ended up being even. And then I have all the jar, I can do all of them with ribbon or that um, baker's twine or not. Either way, look how much I have left over. It looks like I didn't even use it. Um, so now I have this and some extra trees for any other of my holiday projects, you guys. All right, thank you so much for following along today. I'm really excited about these jars. Can't wait to put them out. Um, I'm thinking they're gonna go on my mantle place. All right, you guys. Happy crafting!